Hello my guys, gals, and non-binary pals, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be attempting the one line challenge. Pretty much, you put your pen on the paper, and you draw, and you never pick it up. You draw one continuous line. You cannot move, like you can't pick up your pen to draw like noses, or eyebrows, or any little detail that isn't connected to another line. Hence why it's called the one line challenge. Your drawing is just one line. If you want to see more videos like this of me suffering and trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing, then make sure to subscribe. I've been trying to hit 2k before my one year anniversary, but we've been slowly going down in subscribers, so we're much farther away from that goal. And if you want to offset that, then please subscribe. And on with the video. So I started with doing some practice sketches. I pulled up a random noun generator and the first thing it generated was blood. So I start off with sketching. I wouldn't worry about doing the sketch in one line, but then when I go to line, that's when I start figuring out how I'm going to turn the sketch into only one line. Without the sketch, these would be even more messy than they turn out. And I wanted at least some semblance of an object out of these. I didn't just want them to be squiggly, shaky lines. And I can't like undo anything because that's the whole drawing. So this was what I ended up coming up with so that I could have semi-passable drawings. So they're very shaky. That's the first thing I notice. And the line widths are very inconsistent. And it's it's very hard to draw one continuous perfect line digitally. Like if you see digital artists, you can't really see this on my channel because um if this paint doesn't save videos of you undoing stuff. So you never see me undoing things really. But if you ever watch someone drawing digitally, you will see them draw a line and then undo it and redo that line like a thousand times. Because getting perfect lines can be really hard and there are so many things that can mess it up. So <laughs> this was a huge challenge. I'm not good at not being shaky, I guess. I can't draw continuous lines very well. The next prompt I got was enthusiasm, so I decided to draw someone like excited and waving their hands and you can see just how shaky that one is this one was when i started trying to pull out like a lot of tricks to incorporate things like i drew some motion lines because i figured that help get me from place to place in the drawing better because uh, there's a lot of going back and forth like i have to reach one side of the face to draw an eye and then go to the other that type of stuff so you're going over lines a lot. So I figured the motion lines would help with that. Um, this is also where I figured out that eyebrows, mouths, noses, those are all going to be struggles to incorporate. Noses are like practically impossible. Eyebrows here, I just connected them to the side of the face. Same with the eyes. And then I also connected the mouth to the base of the head, which looks kind of wonky, but oh well this is what we have to do then uh i got pizza as a prompt and so i just drew some pepperoni on a slice of pizza it wasn't really that difficult all the pieces of pepperoni did have to be touching um the side of the pizza though which kind of hurts my perfectionism and having perfect patterns and all that but oh well and then i had music and i just did like sheet music here Though, um, I did not add enough lines here, but it's okay. We're just zoomed in for some reason. Don't ask me. Then the next one, I don't know what the prompt was, but I just drew a flask. And the one after that, I don't remember that prompt either, uh, but I drew a mask for that. Um, for the mask one, I, I drew it on the wrong layer. So I drew my line art over top the sketch which is always a fun thing. I love doing that, it's great. It's always a fun time. Later on, I'm gonna color the mask blue so it blends in a bit more. But then I got chocolate, 
and it's not very straight but I drew like a chocolate bar and a wrapper and I just tried to do an interesting design to kind of like incorporate some sort of logo in it. But throughout all these, I mainly learned a ton of little tricks to use. Uh, just kind of got my brain working on what I can bring in to like reach parts of the drawings that are separated. And just how <laughs> shaky this is gonna be of a process. Like, look at these. These don't look like finished drawings. These look like sketches. <laughs> oh, also, I based, I did some basic coloring for all of them. I did them in rainbow colors, so I selected one color. And then I would turn the opacity down, so, like, the knife is red. Pizza is orange, I think. Enthusiasm was yellow. And, uh, they're all a color of the rainbow. Because, I don't know, they're six ones to color. I didn't have any ideas for coloring of the music. But after all these, I felt like I was ready for a final drawing. So when I was thinking of what I would draw for this, I knew I wanted to have two kind of points of focus here. And then I need a line connecting them. And I want them on like kind of opposite sides of the drawing. So that takes up more space. So I immediately thought of a kite to do this. I would have the kite string going across and it would be a great way to have another point of interest without having to question how I'm going to connect the two and make it with one line. And then after I knew I wanted to do a kite, I'm like, who am I gonna draw? Is it just gonna be a random person or what? I don't draw my OCs that much even though I spent so much time making videos <laughs> redesigning them. So I thought I'd bring in one of my OCs, Sam, and draw her for- And I thought I'd bring in one of my OCs, Sam, and draw them for this drawing. So I pulled up a reference of them and sketched them out. Also sketched the kite out. The kite at first I want to make some sort of animal. I don't know what I intended here, honestly. It looks like it could be like a squirrel or a cat or a dog or any- vague mammal but i was trying to go for something clearly but it wasn't working out so i switched it to a bird then the bird wasn't looking right either so i just turned it back to a normal kite with the rhombus yeah that's a rhombus isn't it okay well i guess it's technically not a rhombus wait is it a rhombus i forget the rules of a rhombus why am i the basic kite shape you know the one you can see it here. I turned it into that shape. <laughs> I'm not going to question whether or not this constitutes as a rhombus. That's not what we're here for. Then I added a second sketch to add more detail mainly to Sam. Um, and everything was looking great right now. And that meant it was time to come in with the liner and probably ruin everything. <laughs> I wasn't very confident in myself here, especially after the sketches and how shaky those were. I was very scared. So, I have to address something. For this challenge, I did lift my pen. <gasps> I know, outlandish. How could I? Scandalous. I lifted my pen, isn't that the whole point of the challenge? Well, okay, since it's digital, I can't zoom in or move at all or like really even shift my pa not paper, but turn my tablet at all without ending my line. And that's why, at least for the sketches, I could zoom in and then draw them and it was, I didn't have that issue. I did have the shaky issue because it was one line. And I don't know, when you're going with one line, it's much harder to keep yourself steady. And because of all this, I knew that if I went in with one line, no zooming in, none of that. It was going to be not only shaky, but a hot mess. Like it probably would have looked like... Uh, the left hand drawing challenge I did, where I drew with my non-dominant hand, probably would have looked like that 
and I want to try and have something that looks good, not like the sketches. And you know, I did do the normal way with the sketches too. But for here, what I did is occasionally I lifted my pen, like rotated the screen or zoomed in and put my pen back down where it had last touched. So it's not like I didn't make it one line. It's just technically not one continuous line. I mean, if you think it's cheating, go ahead, yell at me in the comments, but I stand my ground. I still did most of the challenge. And if you don't think it's good enough, then oh well, you can look at the sketches and be happy with that. One benefit of doing this deeply though, is that I had pressure sensitivity on my side. So that made it really easy to hide when I was going back over lines to draw. Cause you know, for this, you have to go over lines a ton to reach other parts of the drawings. So whenever I did that, I would just apply less pressure and the line would be smaller. So it was much easier to hide it in the line art that I'd already drawn. Now that I could actually remove my pen and things were a lot more stable, this means the line art ends up being a much more consistent width as well. So pressure sensitivity was definitely my friend for this drawing. So there were still some parts of this drawing that I knew were going to be difficult. Kind of a lot of the stuff I talked about with the enthusiasm sketch I did. So the nose, eyebrows, mouth. Like in this sketch, you can see none of that is connected. Well, okay, one eyebrow is connected, but the other one isn't. So uh, one of the eyebrows I just ditched. Their blush marks also got ditched. The mouth I made open and connected it to the rest of the head like I did with the sketch again. And it kind of makes them look like a Muppet or something. I don't know. It's like there's something very clearly off about it. But I can't place on what like feels kind of familiar about it. <laughs> then I did manage to get their nose in there. What I did is I had like this heavy kind of like blush mark above their nose so that I could draw the nose in and connect the blush marks to both the eyes. That was some clever thinking on my part. <laughs> to be fair, like, I don't think it would have been a big deal if they didn't have a nose. But you know, I, I applaud myself for figuring out a way to add a nose in there. And then I added a bit of color. So I colored them and the kite uh, pretty normally. I didn't do it in one line. That would have been literally impossible. <laughs> but I just wanted to add some color to make the drawing look more complete. Because right now, it's just a line. Like, you want me to show you this and be like, it's done, it's finished. Um, so I colored that up. And then for the background, I used the coarse pencil and kind of lightly scribbled a blue sky and some green grass. Look at me, I actually used the coarse pencil. I did a video a few weeks ago at this point where i tried out a ton of ibis paint brushes and one of them was the coarse pencil and i was like i probably won't use this again maybe i will but look at me i used it again and so recently too <laughs> but overall this challenge wasn't too difficult it definitely was when i couldn't pick up my pen okay <laughs> That was pretty hard, and you can still see some inconsistencies in line width and overall just not being able to erase and adjust things caused a lot of issues. Like one of their eyes isn't very good, one of the shoulders, uh, their overall strap, the right one is really inconsistent with the width. But it wasn't as hard as I expected it to be. Once again, because I picked up my pencil. <laughs> At least I'm honest. And I tried to pick it up as little as possible. Um, which is why there's still a lot of shaky parts, especially the kite. Because the kite I decided to do all in one go. But it kind of makes it look more fun and childish in a way. I don't know, it makes it feel more loose and free and fun. Like, it's very messy and shaky. 
but it kind of adds to the charm of the drawing and the feeling it's trying to convey. But if you do like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I post every week on Sunday, so you don't want to miss one of those videos. Also, in the description, I have all my social media, which you should go follow. You never know when I'm gonna pull out one of those social media to do audience interaction for a video. Or when I'm gonna post horrible pancake art that I made. You want to see that beautiful content on YouTube? You gotta go to my social media for that. And I will see you all next week.